thank you for coming to MegaCon. Your journey is almost over, and your adventure awaits. It's MegaCon. We're at Disney World. Day <laughs> three. Here we go. Welcome to Disney. It is super packed over here. The line's probably all the way to <laughs> the end of the hall. Cameraman, can we check your backpack? Oh, yeah. Enjoy it. Thanks, sir. Should check your bear. Hey, beep today, huh? Can't move your feet if you're beeping. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. There's hundreds of people waiting. And this is just one of the aisles. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't even know where to get in line. Where do we go? I don't know. You gotta. It's just like a crowd. Stand somewhere. Is there a line? I don't think so. I think it's just kind of they are gonna open the doors and let everyone in. Go up front and let's see what's going on. Okay. I don't have any controls. Running up, I guess. Those are the Badges, so all the ultimate and VIPs, I guess, get in early. So they're literally running up the stairs, and it looks like everyone else is in. <laughs> Made it in. I think they let everyone in a little bit early, actually. I think it's only like 9.45. So they don't have the, like, one-per-day comic at the other booth that we entered at. So we're going over to the main hall so we can see if we can get our hands on some of those. The Something's Killing the Children from day one were really cool. I think today's supposed to be, like, a Teen Titan comic or something. So let's go see what it is. The new Teen Titans foil. They're doing like a comic each day, which is really cool. We didn't know about that until yesterday and we missed out. So I'm gonna pick these up today. Hopefully there's a cool one for tomorrow too. All right, which pin should we grab? I think we grabbed these. Yeah, those are cool. Those are the dark. Oh, these are cool too. Is that new? These little sets. Oh yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cute. We got our hands on some of the like per day exclusives from the Fan Expo booth. Pretty excited about that. We're gonna head on into the convention. I'm sure it's crazy packed in there. So let's see what's going on. Oh, look at that. That is sick. <laughs> oh, Annabelle. That's awesome. She needs a home, man. Show special, 500 bucks, like life size. Somebody's awesome. selling it for seven and a quarter. I can't wow. believe it, so I made it affordable. What's up, man? What's going on, man? I am so tired. On day three, there's no carpet. The floor is super hard. My knees, my back, my everything hurts, but I'm having such a good time. What booth are you at? Uh, we're right next door at Sleeping Giants. Oh, I'll have to go check it out, yeah, man. I absolutely. had no idea you were here. Yeah, right next door. Man, I'm so grateful about that Adam Cooper piece. It's, it's just cool. It's I, just cool. I, it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection to this it. day. I actually saw him at the original Art Expo. Oh, yeah. I, I tried to get him to, to do something on it, but he was a little busy, but he says maybe at the next con. He so. should be a little busy. He is incredible. That that first family of comics, right? The Cuberts. They're amazing. That's, it's so awesome seeing you, dude. You too, brother. Yeah, man. What are you getting? Anything crazy at MegaCon or just hanging um, out? One of the coolest things that you can get is relatively inexpensive. The IDW booth has a TMNT ash can. It's like 10 bucks. Oh, I didn't even know about for that. For last run of number two. They're black and white. They're super cool. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, Absolutely. thanks for the heads up, man. Yes, sir. I totally didn't even realize the IDW booth was right here. I think we look at it a little bit. Oh, sorry. Sonic. Oh, is it this one? Oh, yeah, these are the ones that were um, like in the poly bags yeah. for sure. Yeah, the That's cool. Hands. How much are those? 10 bucks? What would you say your most popular exclusive has been so far? The Ashcan yeah. and then Beneath the Trees, number two. Oh, yeah, that one's cool too. Is this your first time at Megacon? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You having a fun time? That's oh, yeah. So cool. sure. I like it. It's well, fun. We can have a couple of exclusive. They have better than us. Yeah. I learned it from them. That's awesome. Yeah. Are you looking for anything specific? Uh, basically, uh, getting some exclusive, which I got a, a bunch of them. I got the Thundercats sketch. Awesome. Well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, too. It's nice a pleasure. You Thank too. you so much. Yeah. Okay, have an awesome rest of your week. Yeah. Same. And get home safe. All right, so we've done everything we needed to do so far. We got the one per day comic. We got that cool ash can, which was really, really cool for only $6. Probably the best deal so far at the con. So I think we're gonna go over to Platt's booth, see if we're on the list for today, or if maybe tomorrow we can get something done in the sketchbook.
All right, we're almost to plaque. Okay, cool, thank you so much. No problem. All right, so we're number three on the list for plaque, so we should be able to get it done by the end of the convention, so that's really exciting. So now I think next on our list, we need to go find some dollar books so we can start giving away some comics. This is sick, they do one every year, the cool chalk design, and it's huge. Are these pieces ever for sale, or are they just display pieces? Uh, this one is in a silent auction throughout the weekend. Oh, wow. very cool. How does a silent auction work? Um, so basically there's a piece of paper that people write down bids throughout the weekends. Okay. It's, it's silent in that there's no auctioneer. Yeah. yeah. So there's no one calling for bids. It's just... You just write your just bid. Just write down your bid. Oh. Yeah. This is a huge right piece. There, yeah. The live auction, yeah. the silent auction, and then there are uh, uh, covered auctions where it, it, everything's kind of more secretive. There's just different types. That's cool. Yeah. Do you guys both work on this piece together? We do. We do, yeah. That's awesome. Does it get hard sometimes working together? Because I'm sure you guys have different art styles. Um, actually, we well, we can tell ourselves separate, uh, you know, so we try to be like, okay, I'm only going to do the faces and you do the clothes. And it's not like, oh, I'll do one hand and she does the other because yeah. then you'll probably be able to tell more. Um, but overall, I think our, our styles blend close enough that they, you can't tell. festivals like it or around Orlando yeah. um, in high school uh, we fell in love with the medium we love that you know people get to see our process we get to talk to people while we do it um, and it, it just it feels like we're painting but you know there's no dry time you know yeah. it, it's just a great medium That's awesome. we'll have to come back around on Sunday yeah, and see progress. see how it looks yeah for sure <laughs> Yeah, the details in the face with the chalk is pretty incredible. Yeah. Wow, this book is really cool. I think these are all original art pieces. Wow. Look at the detail on this. Those are really nice. Lots of cool Disney stuff. There's some cool superhero ones over there, too. Snow White and the Seven, Seven Dwarves. That's the original production cell. Wow. These are actually really nice hand painted. This one's really good for all the villains. These are cool. There's some Jim Lee signed stuff. I think these are just prints. I don't think these are originals, but with his signature, they're pretty crazy. Wow, yeah, that's 11, almost $1,200 for that print with his signature on there. There's some Alex Ross signatures. The Batman and the Superman on there. Wow. I actually have an Alex Ross signed Superman. Mine is cooler than that, yeah, mine's fully colored. Two thousand dollars, wow. Wow, let this painting a Superman. Oh my gosh, Christopher Reeve Superman, that is awesome. Look how awesome that is. How long have you been working on that for? Uh, 50 years now. So I just turned 50 in early January, so and I've been doing this my whole life. So when people ask me, how long did that take to paint? I say 50 years. Literally. Yesterday, it wouldn't look like this. I do some spray paint in the background, and then I do most everything else with a brush. I like to uh, cross up the textures and the way things look, just add some more interest to it. If you look at all my stuff, there's, you'll see a lot of that. Different types of lighting and all kinds of things. Just it's, I like making things that are interesting to me. Yeah. Do you have a favorite character to No, just whatever whatever I'm working on. I, I just finished a job at home that are a bunch of cowboys, you know, uh, famous cowboys in movies like Doc Holliday and stuff. And so it's fun. Uh, and I was going to say with you, on the, as an illustrator, our, our job is to sometimes 
we are doing our work for money and it's a job they have a need that you need so you have to find in that case they wanted me to do dog holiday which is cool but so I have to find something within the painting the way that I paint it to make it mine so that it's me doing what I was talking about putting your energy into it and then coming back out and that's what connects with the audience and sometimes it's really hard depending on how boring the subject matter is that you have to do so when it's Batman or like I said Doc Holiday, it's a lot easier because I can recall my own memories to make me feel a certain way. But that's not easy sometimes. No. <laughs> Do you have any published work on comics? Uh, I have one. Um, I always wanted to when I was a kid, uh, but as I got into art and looking at the different things I could do, uh, comics is just a whole other beast. You, you have They pay so little also. You have to love to do sell-by-sell -sell artwork. And so I tip my hat to those guys to make you know, Batman look the same as he did on page one as he does in 35. That's not easy, you know, and uh, so. But I have one. I did some artwork for Topps Trading Cards. And uh, one of those cards became a cover for Lando number one that they gave away at uh, San Diego Comic Con. So, without even trying, I got it on a comic book cover. So, I was, that, that was cool. I got hung up on my wall. The wood carvings. Oh, they're sick. Are those all hand carved? How cool is that? Those are cool. Like oh, little totem carved, poles. Yeah. You guys have any questions on the artist? Are oh, you hand carve all these? I use machines on hand. It's a combination. How'd you get the idea to start doing wood carvings? Is it just a hobby and a passion? I, I'm not sure. I just kind of did it. I just started, uh, I have a shop with all kinds of tools and stuff, and I just started goofing around, and one thing led to another, and there I am. Do you have a favorite piece at the booth today? Frankenberry. Frankenberry, yeah. That's cute. Alright, I think we found our dollar booth. Alright, here we go. Found the dollar booth. Dollar Comics. Alright. Jay, we've been looking for you. What's up, man? Hey. We're gonna just grab a bunch of dollar books over here. I don't have a box with me, but we'll try to come home with a bunch of books. Well, not come home, but we're gonna grab a bunch of them and give them away. So let's see what we find. Try to grab some cool ones. Nomad. Wolverine. Alicia. Are you looking for anything specific? Just something cool. What is that? Super Dinos? We might want to get something better than dollar books. You know? That's cool. Silver Surfer. I think try to get the Magnum boarded ones too. Yeah. Justice League, the clock. That's pretty cool. Life folk cover. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's cool. Everybody likes Rob Liefeld. Well, not everybody, but. <laughs> well, that's a cool raw book. X Men number four with Psylocke. Or X Men, Stormwatch. They got a bunch of those. Oh, that was cool. Is that one in the poly bag? Yeah, a dirty one though. Dirty poly bag. X Men 113. Iron Fist number three. We're finding some pretty decent stuff in these boxes, so we got our own box that we're gonna fill up here, and then we're gonna this start giving too. everything away. Yeah. So we got that stack, I'm gonna put those in the box. We got like 30 in there, so we'll wing. probably have a little over 100. There's some really fun giveaways. We got some Wolverine books. These are all a dollar a piece. We got some stuff over here too we've been finding. Marianne, look at that, the foil on Punisher. Oh my God, I'm jealous. You want it? Which one you want, that you one? You can take them. Yeah. You can have to take them. Really? <laughs> yeah, you can have that. Oh my God, thank you. No, you're yeah, good, you're see good. Anything else you want? Um, we're gonna be giving them away. Yeah, so we're giving all the books away. I'm so. buying them to give them away. <laughs> really? Yeah. You want it? like Iron Man Deadpool. That is Iron Man Deadpool, it's sick. Take it. Look at that one. Take it. You gotta take your whole pile. I mean, we'll find more. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh I try to pick out the cool stuff. Those caps are nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
This is what I should do. I should go to everybody's booth and pick out the good stuff and let everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's the die cut coming. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. That's another. Uh, that's a uh, oil. I, I, yeah. I noticed that's you guys no were joke. picking some really good ones. I was like, what? I try, I try to like, have a good eye. I'd be mean, like looking through, and then I'd see you guys over there. I'm like, what? <laughs> We got 120 bucks to give away. All right, here we go. Thanks a lot, Jay. You had some really good dollar stuff in there, too. Yep. Looking forward to the giveaway tomorrow. All right, here we go. 100. See if I got a 20. Beautiful. I think we're ready. All right, let we're me grab the box and we'll start giving books away. Okay. Should we do trivia or should we just walk no, around? No, I think that takes out? too long. I think we just, you want a free comic? Pick one. Let's All see. right, let's go. How are you doing, ma'am? Good, how are you? You guys interested in a free comic by any chance? 